again, Amy Sense, Shy Singer with you, and, well, the month of June, well, today is the 17th day of June, wow, 2015, and uh, I'm just sitting here chillaxing with my little dog, Pixie. Now, why do I like my dogs? Well, I also have a coal somewhere around here, a little coley. <clears throat> Uh, is in general, they don't criticize. Now, when I was going through college, uh, one defining moment regarding my nature was the criticism I received from my college professor about my singing. Uh, for one thing, he said that I sang flat. And I needed to tune my ears up. And uh, that really struck me it was very depressing, and I was quite angry about that because I always thought I sang perfectly in tune. And uh, I took a recording of myself, and I listened to it with open ears, and I found out that, yeah, I was singing a little under pitch. So I had to tune it up. And the way I tuned up my voice to get it in tune for my exams and even I got high praise that my, my scales were perfectly in tune after the exam was every day I practiced my intervals of the chromatic scale. And uh, sometimes you'll face criticism from the critics. And it might really hurt you to know that perhaps you're not what you think you are. And uh, the truth of the matter is, it will hurt. It really hurt me. And if you're a sensitive, shy person, no one wants to be criticized. Now, I had to consider the source. The source of the criticism was my college professor. And he knew, and he was correct. Other times, however... I had like an 8th grade teacher who really criticized me in such a harsh way and it was unkind and very discouraging. And that was really tragic for me because I gave up ballet lessons because she made me feel like if I couldn't do a fouet and a turn on one foot for 50 times in a row that I wasn't worthy of being a ballerina. Anyways, when you're a kid, you're easily influenced by adults. But after a while, with my college professor and his singing critiques, I grew up and I realized, you know, I can take criticism. And feedback, I guess you could call it feedback. So uh, when it comes to the critics, you have to break through all kinds of layers of criticism in order to stand out. And sometimes your worst critic is yourself. So uh, don't be hard on yourself. And if you can get positive feedback from a source that is trustworthy, all the better. So today's topic was criticism. Remember to love yourself, don't be hard on yourself, and life will show you what you need to know at the right time. Have a great day.